first things first. In every Japanese home, you need to take out your outdoor shoes before you enter the house. So here I am with my indoor shoes. When you get inside, here we have the mirror. This is where I do my makeup. And we have the sink where I brush my teeth. This is a geyser. This is where I heat up my water. So, but it's different because with a geyser, you have to switch it on and maybe wait for like 10 to 15 minutes before the water can be hot. But with this one, you don't have to wait. You can just switch it off or you can just switch it on and go and heat the shower and everything will be okay. You must just adjust your temperatures according to how you want it. I am that person. I love bathing with extremely hot water. So during winter, I take it to the maximum which is 60 but during summer i take it down to something like 40. when i do the dishes i take it to something like 43 or 45 and then here is the room here is the room okay and then as you can see by the corner we have the hoover and my umbrellas so when it's raining i just grab it and run to work or anywhere that i'm going and here we have my keys and here we have the electric things i think this is like the main switch and stuff like that and then here we have my toiletries these i use like on a day to day basis and then opening up here we have the genkan the genkan is where i store my shoes my outdoor shoes This is the laundry room. I have my detergents, my packs, everything that has to do with laundry. And here I have my towel when I come out of the bathroom. And this is my washing machine. And because of storage, I, I had to improvise. So I have my, my shoes here. I have another tripod. And then moving on, here we have my shower room. And then here are my things that I use for the shower and this is my bathing towel and I don't have a window in here so I have this ventilation over here and that's pretty much it. And here is the toilet. When it's summer, I switch it off so that um, I cannot have like a hot seat and then I have things like bidet and stuff like that. So I can just adjust to whatever temperature I want here. So during summer, I switch everything off completely, but during winter, I have a seat that is warm. And then with Japanese toilets, after you're done doing whatever you're doing, after you flush, the water comes out and you can wash your hands with the water it's clean water so it's okay to wash your hands but i only use this water during summer i don't use the water during winter because it's cold and here we have my picture that i made during paint and sip it's very cute <laughs> so yeah this sums up my bathroom moving forward we go to my tiny kitchen so this is how the kitchen looks like and upon coming in here we have my bin and then here we have my fridge the reason why my fridge is facing the direction it's facing is because i was trying to save some space because as you can see the space here is very tiny so this is oh my fridge is sad it's so sad i never buy groceries I hardly buy groceries so here is what i have inside a yogurt gong cham butter um i have eggs and i have onions and i just have a lot of sauces here i have your ketchup um your cheese mustard sriracha nando salad dressing pesto and then we have jalapeno cheddar dip and then here we have my pudding and this is what i have in the bottom of the fridge it's just bacon and pork. That's it. On my fridge, I have pictures of me and I also have my favorite anime characters. And then moving forward on top of my fridge, I have the happy birthday balloon and the I love you balloon. Here we have the air freshener. We have my supplements, omega-3, B12, vitamin C, you name them. And then here I have a, a card that I got from a friend of mine that I share a birthday with. And 
Um, here we have my rice cooker. Yeah, in Japan we cook rice with rice cookers. In South Africa we make rice with our pots. <laughs> and then here we have the blender. I'm a smoothie girl during summer. And then here we have my my microwave oven. And then this is where I keep my starch and other things. Honey, um, cafe latte, green tea, protein. Yeah, this is where I keep my things. And then here we have my paper towel. So this is how it looks. And then here we have my stove. So here is where all the magic happens. <laughs> so here we have my favorite anime character. Um, and then this is my glove when I'm roasting something in the oven and then here we have my chopping board and my cooking utensils and then we have chopsticks and then we also have these chopsticks that I got from my student and in here we have in here we have my pots and the dishwashers um grater my pancake maker it's kind of a mess in here my oven my oven pan you name it so this is how my whole kitchen looks like and then of course here we have the sink um yeah and then in here i have an old microwave that i'm lazy to take out <laughs> Because in Japan, like having to throw away something is just a lot of work. So my flask that I go to work with. And then we have my kettle, the most important thing in this house. Because there's no single day that goes by without me drinking tea. And then here we have um, my dishwashing liquid um, and my hand soap. And then this is where I dry my dishes. And then this is the freshener. Moving on to the other side, we have my black and this flower home sweet home or sweet home this i bought just two days after arriving in japan at daiso and it has my heart and then in here is where i store some of my makeup and we have my mask and then we have another tripod because the life of being a content creator I have four tripods and then there we have my art we have anya and then we also have uh my calligraphy writing i forgot what it's written there in japanese but in english i remember saying if you want to be happy then be and here we have my mirror and moving on here we have my stand it's supposed to be a tv stand but i figured i don't need to have a tv here um so i just have my macbook and my laptop that i've been using in south africa and i have my candles and then i have very small cupboard space this is the cupboard that i found in this house or in this apartment and it's quite messy in here but just give me some grace so this is like my winter jacket and down there we have bags and these bags are storing my summer clothes summer clothes that i actually wear but up there we have summer clothes that i don't wear in japan because i came with them from south africa and since i've realized that japan is very conservative i also want to cover up whenever i wear so i never wear those and then so here we also have another cupboard where i store my clothes and then we have that was supposed to be a laundry basket but it's not a laundry basket it's now a storage because i have some of my clothes in here and this is my bed my favorite place in the whole world <laughs> yeah this is my bed and this is my my son <laughs> this is leo hi world please meet leo hey leo please meet the world <laughs> And then here I have my air conditioner and then okay here I have a picture that I got in um, Nagasaki during my golden week travel and this is my small plant um, it's struggling because it has been cold and then here is where I keep my bags and this is where I store my clothes this one I bought it from Amazon and then up there I have this black bag so that's where i have my kimonos the kimonos that i don't even know how to dress by myself but hey i bought i bought what can i say <laughs> and then in this box i have a new bag that i got but i'm still lazy i'm dreading to unbox it and then this is pretty much my bedroom and then moving on here we have my mini sofa 
and we also have my baby here i just got it yesterday and oh my word i really really love it and i hope that it grows and it doesn't die so this is this is my home this is this has been my home for the past two years and it has made me so happy even though it's very small but it's cozy i've made it home and it feels like home so yeah and here we have my balcony <laughs> let's try to go outside it's very tiny um and i recently got some stuff because i have decided that i want to start gardening i want to have um a small uh, balcony garden i'm gonna um plant some vegetables and so i don't have i don't have any space here i don't know how i'm gonna do it but it's gonna work and then this is how it looks outside 